All right, so apparently I accidentally deleted the video of me doing this. I'm recording this on what Friday. I don't know the, the whatever day is gonna be uploaded on is the day I'm recording it. And I recorded this like way back on like the first of October. So apologies, didn't realize I deleted the video on my phone. So let's go ahead and make another one. Let's get right into it. Uh, somewhere, pretty sure this song came from. Did it? It either came from a game or it came from the show Devs. Like I said, I was I would be able to talk about these songs in a little bit more detail in the first video, but hey, this is not here anymore. But I think it came from the show named Devs. Not really for sure. We'll get into that a little bit later. Either way, great song. Terrors by Chloe Hotline. Hey man, Chloe Hotline's been tearing it up. Chloe Hotline is a OG in the chat section of my live streams. Go check out some Chloe Hotline. Flip the uh if you a paper chaser, you got your black on fire. The way the, 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 way the voice got high pitch right there. Amazing stuff. Chloe Hotline, musical genius. Um, let's see what we got. Molly by Rio Diego G. I got a thousand grams of Molly from the party with the college kids. Fire song. I love Rio because he's so descriptive and very, very descriptive in this song right here. Super duper good song. Um, what else he say in this song? Uh, I... Is this the song where you say he up the yeah? Is this the song where you say he up the uh, gun on his son because he forgot to say his alph alphabet or something like that? Just a ridiculous human being is always real to young G amazing. I get nervous lower dens definitely from the um dev show. It's a Hulu show. FX made very interesting, very interesting show. If you want an intriguing show, a show that's going to have your mind like what is going on throughout the entire thing, devs is a good show. D E V S. You will not regret it, I promise. Very interesting show. It's kind of science fiction-y. It's kind of not. Um, it's, it's very technology-based type of show. Well, it's about a technology thing, but a nigga, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I promise you, watch the first episode, and you're going to be like, bro, what is going on? If that first episode doesn't do it for you, then give it up. But the first episode was like, huh? I promise you. Pretty good show. Um, What else we got? Hustle Music 3, Payroll Giovanni, fire, smooth song, uh, Detroit music, um, a lot of Detroit. I was in a very Detroit state of mind doing this whole type of uh, playlist right here. But yeah, uh, Payroll Giovanni, legend out of Detroit, smooth song. And then you go to another legend, Peasy, New Car Smell, fire, bro. This is such a good song. Um, what, what do you say? He say, uh, bossed up like my nigga Darnell. Nigga selling couches like, uh, like, like they working for the cartel. Fire song. Uh, very, very smooth. Two back-to-back -back smooth Detroit songs by two Detroit legends. So there you go right there. Aquarius, another 100% song. I know that came from the devs. Super duper good song. My mom walked in and was like, she was just like, I haven't heard this song in so long. So I don't know. Maybe this was a popular song back in the day. I have no idea. But what I do know, this song is super duper good. So, yes, like I said, Devs, that soundtrack on Devs, man, whoever sequenced that, they were in there. B A G. Goodness gracious. Good stuff. Um, then we go to uh, this, this Sebastian Bach kind of kind of cover song uh, by Glenn Gold and it's I got this from the movie what is it called the house that Jack built I've been putting this movie off for a long time if you've been in my live streams I mean this would have been a long time ago we watched the director uh, uh Lars kind of say some crazy stuff in an interview he was like yo we got to check this and they go movie out and we just never did it's like 2018 when this happened and uh finally went to go watch the movie and I enjoyed it it's a very very odd movie uh the house to Jack Bill. This is another recommendation if you want some film stuff. So yeah, I liked it. So tell me if you watch that if you want to go watch that. Uh, let me know. I gave him a shout out in that uh, Twenty One Savage uh, review that I did on Complex. If you didn't know, I did a Complex review for Twenty One Savage and Metro Boomin album. If you're waiting for that, it's on Complex. So go peep that. Um, not myself. I'm not myself right now. I'm not myself right now. I would honestly want to put uh, soft to hard on this playlist, but for whatever reason, uh, Boosie debut album, this is only the clean versions on here. They don't have the split version. And Fox feature on soft to hard is honestly one of my favorite features in hip hop history. So right now, or after this video, I want everybody to go listen to soft to hard by Lil Boosie feature Fox. When I mean that song, I mean that feature, well, the song is great, but that feature, oh my goodness, bro. That's one of my favorite features. Freaking, freaking features of all time. I can't even talk. It's a lot of alliteration with Fox feature, freaking all of it, man. I'll tell you, it is such a, such a good feature. Go check that out. And then, I mean, I'm not myself, it's also like an amazing song, but that feature, 
Bro, he was rapping, man. Shout out to Fox. Fox a million. Uh, my thoughts. Great Babyface Ray song. Also, I knew Babyface Ray is like the man. Didn't know he was the man. Like that interview has gotten way more views than I thought it would. I was very expecting V's to have the most views because I don't know why I just thought V's would have the most views with those interviews. Uh uh-uh, uh, I was wrong. Really, Babyface Ray. Babyface Ray is like, goodness gracious, people are killing me in the comments. Like, oh, you just got put on by Paperwork Party? You late. Like, niggas is mad at me for that. I'm like, all right, I guess. <laughs> I've been listening to Babyface Ray since I was five years old. Like, all right. <laughs> you want a pat on the back? So, shout out to Babyface Ray, though, man. That guy's amazing, bro. He just put a snippet up on Instagram where he said, uh, we had to shake the bag. We ain't talking about crabs or something like that. That was crazy to me. Um, yeah, great guy, man. I just want to live. God, protect me. <laughs> it's that little Keezer, man. He's from Jacksonville. Man, he's a big meme. And why not, man? At that time, I was like, let me put a little Keezer in here, man. Uh, shout out to Lil, bro. Fuck you, Carl, man. Fuck you, you was just that. Call of Duty real life on a rush map. <laughs> what he said, uh, if I hit you, guarantee you gonna bust back. <laughs> man, this guy, Sada Baby, bro, I'm so proud of him, man. I, f- I don't even know, bro, but I feel like I know him just watching his come up. I'm so proud to see him literally just come from uh, releasing music. Nobody's really checking for it. And now releasing whole lot of choppers. We just got remixed by Nicki Minaj, bro. I'm so happy for him, man. I could not be more happy for this young man. Uh, can't wait till I interview him again. I, I bet I could have interviewed him like probably now if I wanted to, but I kind of want to wait until the album come so I get an interview in. So yeah, man, Sada Baby, man so freaking happy for that guy bro like if you know i've been talking about music for a minute and like just see where he came from when i got the interview i was so hyped bro i don't think i've been that hyped in an interview since bro i probably even before i was legitimately happy doing an interview because i was like my favorite rapper man so hey man shout out to sada um until ooh, i'm glad i'm doing this he just dropped his album today. Go listen to this Kaleem Taylor album. I would have forgot all about that. Kaleem Taylor, one of the best UK R&B artists out right now. I promise you. Go on Kaleem Taylor Instagram and listen to... It's like a video of him in a, uh, in a in an auditorium or something like that. And he's singing with this orchestra. Now, it's the full video and it's the snippet. The snippet, I think, is not black and white. The full video is black and white. Look at the little snippet. It's like... 10 seconds of him just singing with this full orchestra behind him bro the voice of an angel you will not regret looking at that video and you're gonna be like okay i want to see what his uh his actual music sounds like so good so glad i'm doing this because i need to listen to the album shout out to kaleem the cow uh possibly one of the best freaking verses uh, from a griselda member i'm not for sure also i should be interviewing uh benny by the way next week so if you got a question let me know but uh yeah, that Conway verse is, is, is sick, man. That Conway verse is something special. If you haven't heard this, or if you're really not familiar with Griselda, if you're not, I don't know, that's kind of odd. But if you're not, listen to this song. And Conway the Machine verse on here, powerful, bro. Arguably the best verse of all time from that Griselda uh, staff or that Griselda the team. And yeah, man, shout out to him, bro. He did a stay on here. Uh, the live version of that performance, chilling, as they would say. <laughs> But no, really, that's a super duper good verse, man. TNT by Lil Shimmy. Uh, I, I got put on by Lil Shimmy by Lamar Jackson, bro. Lamar Jackson and uh, Hollywood Brown, they were just in the car vibing to his music. And I was like, yo, this is crazy. So shout out to Florida music, man. I always got to put some Florida music on. There's going to be a lot of Florida music in the next month playlist, by the way. But yeah, he fire. Um, oh, I Wept, another song that came from um what you call it It came from devs and also the next song uh by crosby stills and ass bro i'm telling you this freaking show had the best soundtrack ever bro they were in their bag and uh yeah man that 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 that, that crosby stills and ass song is crazy bro one of the most beautiful songs ever man such a good song and uh oh i wept is also super fire so yeah like i said that soundtrack is just great passed by me by kent james and uh buddy man i really wish this would have came out before or after the pandemic because this is really getting slept on this album is so good bro it is such a summer album from this to to uh to to, to, to bad boys to uh is it bad boys i think it's heat wave i mean it's so many songs on here bro so so good uh at the barbary party like it is it's too many hits man when she passed by me 
when she passed by me. Like, this is such a good summer album. I'm so mad it got ruined by Corona, man. They deserve their flowers. And a young nudie deserves his flowers, man. This song makes me want to go damage my community, bro. This song legit makes me want to freaking just bring Reaganomics back, bro. Like, this this made me... This, this made me uh, this made me wish a Reagan was around and a drug era was around, bro. Like this, this nigga made me want to go grab the Pyrex, man. Goodness gracious, what a negative influence this guy is on me, man. Young Nudie album is going to be fire if this is an indication of what it's going to sound like. So, shout out to this song, man. Law and Order by V's. Shout out to V's, man. Uh, niggas was waiting on this song. I had to put the snippet out. Finally put it out. Hopefully he puts out more music. He just put out two songs in a new Gucci project. Fire. Um, he got that Yao Ming song. Fire. Can't wait for more V's. Love that guy. Um, Keep It Thorough, Mob Deep. Is another Mob Deep song? Yep, two Mob Deep songs right there. Two Fire Mob Deep songs. I really got to say too much about them. Classic Rest in Peace Prodigy. Better Believe by Tom G. A classic Florida artist right here. Tampa, to be specific. Fire Florida. This is such a Florida song. The the way he ended it with the Nicki Minaj part. Like, I, when you get to that part, you can't get any more Florida than that, man. <laughs> like, I don't even want to misquote him. But that whole... I, uh, I, I, I got head out of Nicki Minaj. Like, that whole part is so Florida, so good. Shout out to Thomas G. Uh, great rapper. Freestyle, Real Dingo G. I think this is... Um, I forget the, this is part three of, uh, of Ish Talking, and uh, super good song, super good song, uh, the video got a nigga pop locking throughout the whole thing, which is really hilarious, like nigga in front of Trap House dancing his lights out, bro, like this nigga dance like a Jabberwockies member, um, but yeah, good song, good song, shout out to Rio, I don't, I mean, what, what can I say about Rio at this point, man, he's just a good rapper, great rapper, numb to a Calico, Detroit rapper, but really a Detroit battle rapper, and uh, this is a good song, man, I'm numb to it. Uh, Rolling Woods with the vines, that's how bum do it. How can't you like me when I may run it up music? I had to put the city on my back. Fire song, bro. Really, really fire song. So, yeah, I was supposed about the same Michigan niggas. No, I really don't, but you've never seen this one before. So, shout out to Calico. Uh, also went crazy at, at, at Gnome X uh, a couple months ago. He watched that. He didn't watch a verb, but he was doing his thing against verb. So, shout out to Cal, man. So icy, Pushaisty, free Pushaisty. I think for you, think for you, Pushaisty. I forget what he's locked up for. <laughs> I just can't keep saying that about everybody, but nah, Pooh is hard, bro. This nigga country voice twerk song been in my head. That's definitely gonna be in the next month playlist uh, uh, song for sure, man. What do you say? Hey, done that gun. Show me a work or something. <laughs> I love niggas with super thick country accents. It's always funny to me, but this nigga's hard, bro. This nigga can rap. This nigga from Memphis. He just got locked up, but he's he like he like a uh, Gucci number one gunner right now. He supposed to be the nigga that blow. So, hey man, if he could beat whatever he got going on right now, I'll tell you he finna go out and go dumb. So yeah, if you don't know about Pooh Shiesty, you gonna know him about him real soon. And then we got, can you hear me, Babyface Ray Brook? Uh, I mean Babyface Ray Brooks, V's, uh, Nutty on here fire song i i played this song probably every day of september no lie like this song was stuck in my head and it was no app music i had to go on sound calls to it i look at the video on youtube fire song i know every word to this v's went everybody went crazy on this bro great song um tap in another baby face ray song baby face ray bro I mean, what more can i say about this guy you just talk about him all day man great he said that he put the cake in and he put the he spread the cake in a girl face now he know how ike feel crazy uh, throw it in a bag remix by Lil Wayne. Crazy. This introduced me to that throw it in the bag remix. I only knew the, the original throw it in the bag. I know it was a remix until he freestyled over it. So shout out to Wayne. This is classic Wayne. It wasn't me by Shaggy. Uh, shout out to Rob Banks' father. <laughs> I don't know why I said his name like that. But shout out to Rob Banks' father. Uh, Shaggy's a legend, bro. I seen him do a rendition of some song on Nick on a uh, Disney and he was going crazy. I gotta find that link. That was hard. I might link that in the uh in the description because that was fire. Uh Hall of Fame, man. Babyface Ray Sam and V's. Come on, bro. I don't have to talk about these Michigan dudes anymore, man. They're great. And then Golden Eye Action Bronson. If you did not see my review, I reviewed that great, 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 great album. And uh yeah man, go check my review for it. So talk to you guys later.